Hello, dear participants and colleagues of the Climate Change in Coastal Cities Symposium. My name is Paul Robey. I'm the academic coordinator of the Urban Knowledge Network Asia, or UKNA, which is based at IAS in Leiden, the International Institute for Asian Studies in, uh, at Leiden in the Netherlands. Uh, a warm welcome from me. Um, and uh, on behalf of the organizers, which is myself, uh, Dr. Zoe Goodman and Shaolan Lin, who is uh, my colleague at IAS in Leiden. Um, we look forward very much to uh, seeing you in a matter of days, at, um, at least virtually, uh, at ICAS and in our roundtable sessions. Of course, it's a shame that we won't meet face to face, as we had hoped, uh, in Kyoto. Uh, so this is a kind of plan B, we can say. But I hope this will be the start of a collaboration in which we will be able to meet each other face to face uh, and physically sometime in the future as we um, build on this initiative, hopefully. So I'd like to say a few words about the network, Urban Knowledge Network Asia and my personal research um, interests since we won't have much time during the roundtable sessions themselves to do this. We only have one uh, hour sessions, so there won't be much time for personal introductions. So the uh, Urban Knowledge Network Asia was set up in 2016, initially with support from the European Commission. Uh, now we uh, fund our activities ourselves together with partners, partners in the Asia Pacific region, but also partners uh, around the world. And we host and organize events looking at various urbanization topics, very much from the ground up, from the bottom up perspective, uh, from the perspective of residents, uh, workers, people who are usually less visible in the urban scheme of things. Um, in past years, the UKNA has organized um, events looking at uh, heritage, water management, um, the relationship with rivers, and two years ago an event on infrastructure networks from the perspective uh, of residents um, and workers in various parts of Asia. So this year's event, climate change um, in coastal cities, centering the voices of residents, I think is very much fits very much in this pattern of looking at urbanization from the perspective of uh, below, if I could put it like that, from ordinary people, residents, fishermen, people who uh, rely on water, who um, directly depend on water, um, seas for their livelihoods and uh, for their lives. Um, this, uh, the, the topic of climate change, I think, needs no uh, introduction. Um, it affects all of us around the world, and um, I'm very happy that we are able to look at climate change in coastal cities this year from the perspective, from a regional and cross-regional perspective, um, Africa, Asia which is something that the UKNA has been very interested to do for years, looking at um, Asia in comparative perspective, which I think is very necessary. A lot of cities around the world uh, are affected by the same issues like climate change, and it makes sense to have these discussions very much in a comparative perspective. So I'm very excited to hear from our African colleagues uh, this year and to share and exchange insights um, about climate change in a cross-regional perspective. Um, another one of the UKNA's uh, approaches is, uh, is to be transdisciplinary. And I think we've succeeded in, in, in that this year uh, through our selection of, of, of papers and abstracts. Um, I'm looking forward to, to discussions that will be hopefully very transdisciplinary in nature with uh, yourselves being architects, sociologists, historians, archaeologists, um, 
you name it. Uh, I think this this transdisciplinary nature is is very important when we talk about urbanization. Uh, in fact, I can't imagine looking at cities from a purely sectoral uh, point of view. So the the multi or transdisciplinary perspective is, is, is paramount for us in, in this network. Uh, we work uh, every year with counterparts um, from Asia Pacific, um, which could be universities, planning institutions, civil society organizations, um, as well as individual researchers. And I'm very happy this year to be working with uh, Zoe, Dr. Zoe Goodman, on this issue. Uh, Zoe's own research, uh, as she has been able to explain to you in her video, is focused on um, very much the governance dimensions um, of issues like climate change, power relations, societal relations, which I think is a lens which is uh, super relevant uh, when we look at climate change. Uh, if we just focus on the technical issues of climate change, not only will we lose uh, a large part of our uh, audience, but I think the, um, the many dimensions of climate change and how it plays out, how it's dealt with, how it's framed will be uh, lost or ignored. So I very much appreciate this, this, this lens that, uh, that Zoe brings into the discussions this year. And it's a pleasure to, to work together um, with her uh, in this event. And of course, uh, we're very happy also to, uh, to invite uh, Dr. James Obude to be the keynote uh, on the second day of our event on the 25th of August. Um, Dr. Ogude is a humanities uh, person uh, by background, an interest in literature, and I think that's another perspective that is very valuable when we look at uh, climate change, um, the, the humanities perspective, uh, to see and to, to analyze how climate change has been um, narrated, uh, memorialized, uh, described over centuries and decades in, in different forms. Um, my own interest is uh, in uh, urban governance very much, so in that I share Zoe's interest in, in relations of power uh, as they affect uh, cities and how they are uh, shaped very much by people. Um, I have a special interest in water and specifically, well, water in all forms really. And that's why I chose to, uh, for the background, to, to stand by the riverside just a few uh, steps away from my own home uh, in my hometown of Rotterdam. This is the New Maas River, um, a landscape these days very much of high rises. Uh, by the river, but uh, a city uh, shaped by uh, global commerce as much as it is these days by migration. Lots of issues uh, play out here, which I think are uh, relevant to the discussion on uh, uh, climate change, retrofitting cities to better cope with the vagaries of climate change, um, and making sure that the way our cities are are uh, adapted to and, and uh, the way in which residents adapt to the to these uh, trends um, is done in the you know with the perspective of residents all, all residents in mind so um, I hope we will have a chance to uh, to meet informally perhaps on the second day after the last uh, roundtable session after the keynote um, but I'm confident that we will also have a chance to exchange in the uh, in the months that come uh, both around the publication that will hopefully come out of this uh, and uh, with the perspective on uh, the follow-up and future activities around this topic I look forward to meeting you all soon and uh, for now um, all the best from the riverside here in Rotterdam. Bye-bye.